vision. Hello everyone, welcome to the class again. This is Master Satya and we were discussing about the broader meaning of democracy. And there I was explaining how democracy can be related to other aspect of our life as well. Okay, let's continue. So beside government, everything can be also uh, the different sort of democratic organizations or different uh, nature of the democratic government or different uh, different organizations, family, school, as I said uh, right now. People use the word democracy not to describe any existing government, uh, to set off an ideal standard that all democracy must aim to become. But as I said about school, organization, social life, family, suppose you are discussing an important matter in the family and your father is only taking decision, then this cannot be called a democratic decision. Suppose you have also a right to speak something, your mother has also right something, uh, uh, then it can be a democratic family. So it, uh, this, uh, this should be based on the mutual respect for decision making, etc. So we should have a mutual respect for uh, every individual uh, in the society, every member in the family, every person who are associated in the school, then only it can be a democratic class. Suppose uh, we teachers and principals are well, uh, we discuss together, then we also try to create a democratic uh, environment. Uh, suppose someone is authoritative, then he cannot make it a democratic organization. So uh, that is the thing. So here uh, the, the school can be democratic, any organization can be democratic, family can be democratic. So this is the thing that uh, we have here, uh, we have uh, discussing here to understand the thing, what is democratic actually. So democracy is a form of government where everybody has a share as I have been telling you uh, since long. And however, if the ideals of democracy are considered then, no country in the world is correctly democratic, still having an understanding of democracy a, as an ideal will explain. So here one thing uh, uh, we must know that no country in the uh, world is completely democratic because uh, we, can, uh, we can see some lacuna, some problem in the uh, democracy as well. Right, in the democracy as well we are seeing a lot of uh, problem in the uh, function of the democracy. Corruption is going on, every sort of thing is also going on. Still having an understanding of democracy as an ideal will explain why to value democracy. But we, we, if we consider the different factors of democracy then uh, it appears to be uh, the best kind of government. It enables people to judge an existing democracy and identify their weaknesses. It also helps to distinguish between between a minimal democracy and a good democracy. So here we can find that uh, other countries that uh, we cited in the class, we we took the example in the class that they they are just following a very uh, very minimal uh, democracy where uh, we see some countries they are a good democracy. The most common form of democracy in today's world is being ruled through the people's elected representative. Now we have representative form of government where we are being ruled through our representative. We have our voice through the representative. We speak something through our representative. Suppose you are sending the person uh, to the legislature, then he will speak for you. That means your voice will be raised there. However, for a small community, there can be no other wish for making democratic decisions. All other people can sit together and make decisions directly. This is how Gramo Sabha should in the village. So this is how uh, uh, we can uh, implement the democratic uh, rule in a different sphere of our life. We can find uh, the place of democracy in the, uh, in the different sphere of our life. And my dear friends, you may be remembering uh, a lot of time, uh, in many a time you see uh, even the principals uh, visited the class and says make your class more democratic and so and so thing yes no? so this is the thing uh, we can see that every time uh, and every sphere of our life we can uh, make the theme a democratic one we should value each and, and each and every individuals uh, who are living with us and who are a part of the decision making suppose you are taking an important decisions and 
then uh, that then many people are being affected so therefore the people who are uh, who who are to be affected by the decision they should have a voice they should have a say on the decision making so this is the this is the thing that uh, we discuss here beyond the governance uh, we talk about uh, democracy beyond the uh, government uh, so hope uh, this is very very uh, convincing and uh, easier for you to understand the thing properly so dear friends uh, we will see uh, in the next class and next class will be about the gk uh, related to the chapter so with this i completed the chapter and hope this is very uh, very uh, helpful for you so at the end i said please like subscribe and put your query in the comment box as well if you have any doubt feel free to question me okay so thank you so much bye for now